Welcome back, yogis. Um, Andrea Levy Yoga. I'm here with Diana, and we are going to do a 30 minute power flow. So, this is going to be a continuous, intermediate, advanced with modifications power flow. Get your heart rate pumping. So, when you don't have a whole lot of time in your day, but you want to just move your body, get your heart rate going, and do some yoga, this is what we are going to be doing today. Of course, Chelsea is joining us because she's pretty much been a staple in all of my videos. Mm -hmm. So um, we're gonna begin in a comfortable seat, Sukhasana, easy seat pose. So you can come to cross legs, or if you have Ardha Padmasana, half lotus pose in your practice and you wanna to come to a half lotus, you can come to that as well. Um, if you do have a block at home, I suggest maybe grabbing a block um, or a strap if you need that for a modification. If not, no worries. You can always take um, a pillow, uh, like a firmer pillow to use, or a bolster if you have, or anything that stands, even a cereal box if it's hard enough, that stands straight up to use. So just grabbing what you have at home. So sitting up nice and tall, stack the spine, pull up through the crown of your head, close the eyes. So we're gonna begin with some breath here. Take a big inhale through the nose, fill completely, let the belly fill and press outward. Hold the breath at the top, open the mouth and let out a deep sigh here. Inhale, fill all the way up. The belly fills completely like a balloon. Hold, open the mouth and deep sigh. Slowing down the breath now, inhale, fill all the way up the belly, the lungs into the rib cage and the heart. Hold the breath, keep the lips closed this time, same audible oceanic ujjayi pranayama, constricting the back of the throat. And again, inhale, fill. Hold, lips closed, audible oceanic stretch. Go ahead and take three to five more on your own as you draw the hands to Anjali Mudra, either at your heart space or your third eye to set intention for practice. So as you bow the head slightly, think about an intention that you want to take with you for your practice. Even though it's a short practice, we still want to take that intention with us. Thinking about the events that are surrounding us and why we're doing these videos and bringing them to you. That intention can be something that has to do with what's going on in our new normal, or it can be something totally unrelated. the next inhale, reach the arms straight up to the sky, open up the arms, lift the heart. And then on the exhale, reach the hands straight out in front of you, draw the sit stones down, and reach the hands and lower the heart. So keep stretching the fingertips forward as you draw back on the sit bones. Maybe take one arm out in front. Feel the elongation down that side of the body and then the other arm out in front. Feeling the shoulder blades stretch and then walk the hands all the way back in. Inhale, palms to press overhead, reach up, lift up. Exhale, hands to heart and then switch the leg that is either on top or in front. Inhale, palms to press overhead. And then lift the heart, open the arms, reach up. Exhale, reach out in front, sits bones draw down, draw the arms out. Take the right fingertips forward past the left, feel the stretch down the right side of the body. Inhale, left arm reaches out. Inhale, round up, lift up, gaze up. Exhale, hands to heart. And then take the hands on top of the knees and just start to draw circles with the chest forward and back. And then take that knee to the spine when you come back behind you. And take a couple one direction and then go ahead and switch the circle, just bringing some movement, articulating that spine. And then when you're done, 
one, inhale, lift up, sit up tall, roll over the knees and come to all fours. Shoulders are over the wrists, adding a couple cat cows here, inhale, dip the belly, arch the back. Exhale, round, pull the navel up and in. And again, inhale. Exhale. You can start to move your body in any way that feels right. Maybe turn your fingertips towards you, get into the wrists. If you do arm balances and inversions, it's always great to warm up the wrist in any practice. Take a couple more breaths here. And then from here, inhale, come back to that neutral spine. Exhale, right to downward facing dog. Press the palms into the earth, lift the hips up and back, and then start to pedal and move through those feet. Taking some leg stretches here, pedaling into the knees, into the calves, warming up those hamstrings. Lifting the arches. Rolling the ankles. And then inhale, high on the toes. Let the ankles fall off to the right side. Press down through the left palm. Feel that stretch down the left side of the body into the left hip. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, right to the left side. Press down firmly through the right palm. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high on the toes, look forward, tiptoe all the way to the top of the mat, coming into Uttanasana, forward fold. Hanging heavy here, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Soften up the knees if you need, straighten them out. Grab elbows. Maybe sway side to side, shake that head, neck and mouth. Release the fingertips down, inhale, chin to chest, reverse one leg all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart space. Coming into standing arch, Shandrasana, inhale, reach up, gaze up, interlace and steeple the index fingers. Exhale, off to the right side, press down through that left foot, taking that side body opening again. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, off to the left side, press down through that right foot. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, swan back, bow all the way down. Heel toe, big toe to the touch. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Sink the hips towards the heels, lift the arms up, draw the shoulders down. Tuck the tailbone under and take the arms out in front if you have head, neck, and shoulder issues. If not, you can keep them up. Option to come up on the tippy toes to take it into a little bit more power here. Inhale, sit down a little lower. Exhale, fold, let it go. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, step back, plank pose. Option to drop the knees here, three chaturangas, inhale high, exhale low. Inhale high, exhale low. Inhale high, exhale lower, hover. Inhale, drop down, baby cobra, or scoop through, upward facing dog, if your back is ready. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Take two more breaths here. Inhale, high on the toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees, release. Walk, step, or hop. Inhale, half length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chin to chest, reverse swan dive all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive, bow all the way down. Inhale, half lift to prepare for vinyasa. Either step back to plank or hop right to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg creeps up, bend the knee, feel the glute open, and stack that right hip. Option to find stillness here or take some hip circles if that's what your head needs. Inhale, high on the left toes. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, back up and open. Exhale, left tricep. Inhale, back up and open. Exhale, knee to chin, hold here. Step the right foot with your hands. Lower the left knee down and lift the right arm up. Modify Twisted Dragon. Take the right hand to the back of your mat, opening up that right shoulder. Option to stay here. Option to kick the foot into the hand or come down to the left forearm and take that quad stretch. Keep shifting forward onto the front part of the knee, the top part of the knee, almost into the lower quadricep. Stay off of the kneecap. Inhale, right arm comes up. Exhale, inside the right foot. Heel toe the right foot out. So we're coming into a low lizard. The left knee is still down, opening up that right hip. So let the right knee fall open onto the outer blade of the right foot. If you want to assist your leg here, you can take that right hand and press it away. Or just keep both forearms down. And then take both forearms back down to the mat here. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee and feel that stretch in the left hip flexor. Press through the left heel, so you want to press back through that left heel. Inhale up to the palms. Exhale, high skandasana in the left leg. So bend into the left knee, walk the hands out, go back on the hip. And then really working into that right inner thigh, press it to the inside edge of the right foot. One lunge, pulse at the top of the mat. Inhale, walk back to frame off the right foot. Bend into the right knee. Exhale, round and straighten. Maybe hop the left foot in slightly and lower the left heel down. Start to draw back on the right hip. You can keep the right big toe down or if you want to lessen the stretch, press the right heel in. And then start to soften that right knee. Inhale, bend the right knee, right leg sweeps back and up. Add a vinyasa here, any vinyasa of choice. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, left leg lifts. Bend the left knee, heel, the glute open and stack. Option to find stillness, option to take those hip circles, those mandalas. Remember to keep your breath fluid here. Nice, long, slow, deep, steady breaths. 
Inhale, high upper right toes. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Try the tap tricep. And then inhale, back up and over. Exhale, cross body, right tricep. Inhale, back up and over. Exhale, knee to chin, hold here. Step the left foot through, lower the right knee. Modify Twisted Dragon. Left palm comes up to the sky, reach. And then take that left shoulder, open it up, reach the left hand to the back of your mat. Option to stay here. Kick the foot in, lean forward, or come down to the right forearm. Inhale, left arm comes up. Coming into that low lizard, so take the left forearm down. Let the left knee fall open. So once again, you can leave that knee open here or take your left hand to assist in that hip opening. And then inhale, both forearms come down. Tuck the right toes, lift the right knee and pull that right hip back. So you'll feel that stretch in the right hip flexor. Inhale, up onto the palms, high skandasana, back to the right foot. Bend into the right knee, walk those hands out. Start to draw back on the hips, pressing into the outer blade of that left foot. Working into the left inner thigh. One lunge pulse, top of the mat, inhale, bring off that left foot, bend into the left knee, and then exhale, round and straight through both legs. Maybe flip the left toes up if you want to soften that left knee or keep the big toe pressed. Take another two breaths here. Inhale, bend the left knee. Exhale, left leg sweeps, back and up. Inhale, draw forward into a vinyasa. Exhale, lower. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg sweeps. Bend the knee, feel the glute open and stack. Inhale, high to the left toes. Exhale, right knee, right thigh. We're holding for three breaths. Option to stay here, option to fly into equipotical vinyasana. Taking the arm balance if it's in your practice. Inhale, right leg sweeps back up and open. Exhale, cross body, left try. Either stay, three breaths, kick it out on the triangle or arm balance, your choice. Left hand lowers, right leg sweeps, back up and open. Option to stay, option to flip that dog. Coming into crescent lunge, slow and controlled. Inhale, right foot steps all the way up to the top of your mat. And then reach the arms out and up and settle into this space. Hands come behind your back, interlace and bind. Draw the shoulders down your back, inhale, hover off the front right thigh. We're gonna fly into warrior three, modification, stay here. Lift up to fly, press through that left heel. Hands come to heart center. Inhale, left knee lifts into the chest, figure four. Cross that left foot over the right quadricep, then exhale into figure four chair. Sink and settle into the right heel. So from here, we're moving into a pose called praying mantis. You wanna keep the right leg bent exactly where it is. Take the left knee into the chest, almost like a flamingo pose and then press the left leg back and hover off that right thigh into praying mantis. 
that right leg really turns on. Warrior two, step back and open. Flip the right palm, inhale, hold exalt on the exhale. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, twist to dragon. Windmill down, left palm plants, right hand to sky. We're moving into a side plank, any variation. So pour the weight into left palm. You can take a stacked leg, left knee down for modification. You can take a two finger hold, tree pose, Ardha Padmasana, anything that feels good in your body. Two more breaths. From here, we're transitioning into Malasana Yogi Squat. So right foot steps to the right corner of your mat. The left foot follows, option to sit on the block. Opening up those hips. Right arm reaches out in front of that right knee, left arm up. Option to stay here. Option to take a half or a full bind. If you have garland in your practice and you want to move into the arm balance here, the standing balance, don't follow me. <laughs> We love so, yoga. Yes, we laugh at ourselves, exactly. right? So yes, we all fuck up. And yes, oh. I did say the F bomb. You, you look cute at it though. That's just who I am. Yeah. So, but I am going to show you how to get there. So you want to take it with me? No? Okay. All right. I'll try. All right. I'll try. Okay. On that's video. All can, that's all you can do mm -hmm. is try. So heel toe the left foot over a little bit and pop up on the right ball of foot. Then shift your weight into the left foot and start to stand as you take the right knee in. Slow, 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 slow. Press Ooh. down through the left foot. Not me. Not That's this side. Right. Core lifts and then start to pull that right knee open. Mm -hmm. And then you slowly lower. So all we can do is try. That's what we do. We try. Hands come to heart. Plant the palms, file the feet parallel, lift the hips. Mm. Let's put the two finger peace grip here. Mm. So two finger peace grip to the big toes. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. So start to pull up on the big toes as you press the big toes into your two fingers. Draw the shoulders down your back, draw the elbows out to the sides, and the chest and belly comes through your legs. And then slowly release. Inhale, chin to chest, reverse swan dive all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive, bow all the way down. So option for crow, if you'd like. Inhale, half lift. So setting up for your crow pose, if you'd like. You can come into modified crow, crow, prep, crow, or crane. Crane would be straight elbows. So I'm gonna work on that. Deanna's going into crow. So keep the elbows straight. Take the knees to behind the armpits. Pressing the arms all the way forward first and then trying to pull up. Down dog. Left leg scoops up. Bend the knees obliquely open and stack. Inhale, high of the right toes, exhale, left knee, left tricep, hold for three breaths. Option to stay, option to fly. Left leg sweeps up and back. Exhale, cross body. Stay, kick it out, arm balance. Right palm lowers. 
Left leg sweeps up back and open. Option to stay. Option to flip that dog. Slow and controlled crescent lunge. Take that left leg. Try not to use the left hand as you step up. Use the core and place that left foot all the way up. Reach the arms out and up. Settle. Take the hands behind your back, interlace and bind. Pull the shoulders back and down. Inhale, hover off that front left thigh. Stay here or fly. So find stability on the standing leg by pressing down through all four points of that left foot. Draw the inner thighs towards one another. Press through the right foot. Hands come to heart space. Figure four, inhale, right knee lifts. Press the right foot over the left quadricep, open up that right knee, and from here, we're gonna sit down into that figure four chair. Bend into the left knee, press it to the left heel so those toes shouldn't be gripping the mat. Flex the right foot for protection of the right knee. And then from here, trying that praying mantis again, Pull the right knee into the chest. Keep the left leg where it is. Ooh, that left leg's on fire. Mm -hmm. Press back. Keep that left knee bent. Warrior two. Step back and open. Nice. Flip that left palm. Inhale. Hold it tall. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, twisted dragging the wheel down. Right palm plants, left hand comes up to the sky. So moving into that side plank, any variation, whatever feels right for your body on this side. Sometimes one side varies from the other, so one side might not be able to do what it did on the other side and that's okay. Coming into Malasana Yogi Squat from here, nice and slow, left foot steps outside the left part of your mat, right foot follows. Mm -hmm. And then the left arm comes in front of that left knee, right arm comes up. Option to take half a full bind. So once again, if we're going to try the garland pose, I'm going to teach garland this, at this point. He'll toe the right foot over and pop up on the left follow foot. Switch into, weight goes into the right foot as you start to lift the left hip up. Distribute weight evenly and press down through the right foot. Now turn the core on and try to lift that left leg. Press down through the right foot. Lift that left leg. The last part is pull that left knee back, opening up the hip. Nice job. And then coming out always is the challenge. Just slowly returning back to where you left. Nice job. Ah, I had to unwind, but that's I stayed okay. up. That's all right. Hands come back to heart center. And then slow lower the hands, lift the hips. Keep the feet wide. Inhale, chin to chest, reverse swan dive all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach arms up. Hands come behind the back. Let's take a wide leg forward fold with a bind. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold. You can take the feet a little wider if you need. You can keep them where they are. So balance off of your Padmasana. Allow those arms up and over. If you want to come out super wide, you can come out super wide. If you want to go upside down and take a headstand variation from here, go ahead. Remembering this is only a 30 minute flow, so we're going to be closing practice soon. And then from here, Slowly start to lift halfway, release the hands down. 
exhale, fold. Heel toe, the feet in slightly. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Last vinyasa here. Step back and hop to chaturanga. Up dog, cobra. Downward facing dog. And into child's pose. Take the knees the width of the mat. It ended too soon. So we're coming down. 30 minute practice goes by super quick with warm up and cool down. But if you don't have time in your day for more than 30 minutes, 30 minutes is better than no minutes just to move your body. We are going to take a little bit of a cool down and then I'm going to leave Savasana up to you to take as long as you need. So from child's pose, sit up on the heels, shift the weight to one side, take the legs out in front. We're going to come into Paschimottanasana, Bhadakanasana, and then come down to the mat. So go ahead and take the feet out in front of you, separate all the extra fleshies part from underneath you. Find those bones, sit down, lift the arms up, inhale, and on the exhale, drive forward with the heart, bend at the hip points, use a strap or towel if you need. I like to take a block for extra extension when I'm feeling super open. Inhale, half lift, and then exhale, fold. Try to draw the heart to the big toes. And then inhale slowly round up, coming into Bhadakanasana, seated Bhadakanasana. So taking the feet in, a couple different options here. You can pull them real close to the groin if that feels good. Further away if that feels good, you can take them on a block. So really wherever it feels good and you're able to open those hips, inhale, stack the spine and then exhale, draw the heart forward. You can use the elbows to press those knees open. You can walk the hands out. So really, it's whatever feels good for you, which is going to allow the body to release into the stretch, knowing that this is one of our final stretches. Don't judge it. Just do what feels right for you. You never want to push yourself into something that doesn't feel right just because somebody else is doing it. You always want to give yourself choices and options based on how your body is feeling that day. And then nice and slow, round up, chin to chest. Close up the knees, take the arms out in front, and then slowly lower all the way down to your back. So I'm going to give you a couple options before setting yourself up for your final rest. You can take a seated uh, supine twist. You can take a supported bridge, bridge, shoulder stand. Anything, happy baby, something that feels right while you're on your back to release, relax, and restore. Take about 10 breaths in this posture. And then when you're ready, you can release all the way down into your final rest. I'm going to leave you before we get there because I want you to have the ability to stay as long as you need without me speaking. So I'm going to close practice here before you set yourself up. I just wanted to thank you once again for tuning in and joining um, this practice. Short and sweet, powerful. I honor the light, the space, and all that you bring to this practice and this journey. Namaste. Namaste.